Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid is calling for former congressional hearings probing the enduring mystery of UFOs. Now, in 2007, the longtime leader of Senate Democrats quietly sponsored a secret Pentagon study of UFOs and related mysteries. The program was based here in Las Vegas, but it ended back in 2012. Now, in his first on camera interview in more than a year, Reid says both Congress and the Pentagon should take a fresh look at the topic, and he intends to help make it happen. The I team's George Knapp has the exclusive story. Some people say, why is Reid doing this? What? He doesn't know anything about science. Well, I'm doing it out of sheer curiosity. Harry Reid's interest in UFOs dates back 30 years, but he kept it quiet until December 2017 when the New York Times reported about ATIP, a secret Pentagon study of UFOs and related phenomena, initiated by Reid and two other senators. Documents related to ATIP and its offshoot, ALSAP, do not mention UFOs, ETs, or little green men, and Reid has been careful to avoid the tabloid slant. You've used that quote about you're not sure that there are little green men. You don't necessarily believe in that. We don't know. The fact is we don't know what it is, right, or where they're from. We do not know. What, what I have learned is you cannot just hide your head and say it does. these things aren't happening. We have military installations where hundreds and hundreds of people who are there see these things. Dramatic military episodes involving highly advanced but unknown intruders, such as a fleet of so-called gimbal craft in 2015, or the 2004 incursions by large Tic Tacs, more than justify an ongoing study, Reed says. And as I said, it's a worldwide phenomenon, if not just here in the United States. There are certain places we really don't understand why, that there's more occurrences um, and have been over a long, long time. The study based in Las Vegas explored topics far beyond the nuts and bolts of flying saucers. Light Physicist light Dr. Hal Putoff assigned 38 topics to academics and experts, tasking the authors to project to the year 2050 and speculate on what our cutting edge technology might become. UFOs, whatever they are, have already demonstrated some of what is possible. In July 2018, the I-Team first released the list of those papers. Two weeks ago, the DIA confirmed the list when it released a letter from the late Senator John McCain, who'd requested all available materials from ATIP for his Armed Services Committee. Reed and McCain were from different parties, but were close. Sure, John knew what I was doing. I mean, he didn't, he didn't uh, hide the fact that he was interested also. That's why, that's why he wrote the letter. Media critics have griped the papers explored fringe science. That was the assignment, according to Dr. Putoff. One publication explores invisibility cloaking, craft that are not only invisible to radar, but actually invisible. That research has reportedly been underway at Nevada's Area 51 in recent years. Another paper by a UNLV engineer explored how to detect and track hypersonic objects, things that traverse Earth's atmosphere at incredible speeds similar to hypersonic missiles that Russia's military now claims to possess. A detection system would tell us about UFOs, but it could also tell us about Russian missiles that might be coming our way. I mean, there's practical benefits to these kinds of studies. Of course. One of the papers on the ATIP list focused on metamaterials, exotic compounds that could explain the physics of UFOs. Since ATIP ended, private groups, such as the To the Stars Academy, have scoured the planet seeking bits and pieces of supposed wreckage for testing. Former Pentagon intelligence officer Lou Elizondo is spearheading that effort. In 2009, Senator Reid tried to turn ATIP into a special access program, in part so it might gain access to evidence that has not yet been made public. It suggests that maybe there are other studies or programs that, uh, that w might shed light on this. Other mystery. programs that have been um, done and information they have, including different um, pieces of evidence. George Knapp, 8 News Now. Under Senate rules, Reid was prohibited from lobbying his former colleagues for two years. Uh, that time limit, though, expired earlier this month, and he's been making calls to key people in Washington about the issue. And we asked Senator Reid if he thinks it is time for an official disclosure about UFOs. You can see his answer on LasVegasNow.com, and the I-Team will have more from the interview in the days ahead.